Hello, dear traders. Welcome back to InstaForex TV channel. You are watching economic news with me, Tahmina Salomova. In the North American trade, the U.S. stock market slumped, causing massive sell-offs of the U.S. dollar. Against a basket of its rivals, the U.S. dollar tumbled to 95.20, the lowest level in October. Later, the index made an upward correction to almost 95.40. Nevertheless, experts speak about subdued growth of the greenback. On Wednesday, Donald Trump again criticized the Federal Reserve for three rate hikes it has made this year. Besides, the U.S. president described the latest crash in the stock market as a routine correction. China's stock indices also took a news dive amid the panic among investors. Opening the Asian trade, Shanghai Composite shed about 4% on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange. Due to the slump in global stocks, investors take shelter in safe haven assets. Thus, the Japanese yen extended its growth against the US dollar. Demand for the yen is rising as investors still voice concerns over the lingering battle of tariffs between the US and China. The dollar yen pay is heading down for the psychological level of 112.00. Meanwhile, the Australian dollar is taking advantage of the greenback's weakness. The Australian versus American dollar pair halted its loan plunge and turned into a consolidation stage at near 0.7080. Today, the U.S. is due to release inflation data. The U.S. consumer inflation is expected to slow down in September. If expectations come true, the U.S. dollar is set to lose ground across the board. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to InstaForex TV channel.